The New York Times pretty recently posted an article summarizing metabolism over the lifespan based on some new research that's been done. Now, this research was done by a guy named Herman Ponser at Duke University. And what he did is collect all of this different data from 40 labs across the country using doubly labeled water technique, which is considered the gold standard for measuring resting metabolic rate and then figuring out total daily energy expenditure. And in all of this data that he collected and figured out, it turned out to be over 6,500 individuals included in this study, all from ages of early as eight days old up to 95 years old. And what he found that I'll of course go into a little bit more detail in a second is that metabolism doesn't change as you get older like we thought it did. It does change a little bit, but not the same as we've assumed for the past X amount of years. What he also found is when you compound for the amount of muscle on an individual, there's no huge difference between resting metabolic rate in a man and a woman. So what the study does address is that we know that with someone in a larger body versus someone in a smaller body are likely going to have a different metabolic rate purely based on size. We also know that in many cases, someone with more muscle mass will probably have a different metabolic rate. But the point of this study was actually to compound for those factors and try to figure out what someone's just baseline energy expenditure would be without that additional muscle, trying to really figure out like just what your organs need at rest, right? So really important for what this person's body would need doing absolutely nothing. So they did have data on height, weight, and body fat percentage, and again, tried to compound for that information. And when they did that, they found that metabolism had four distinct stages throughout life. What they also figured out is that there is not a constant rate of energy expenditure per pound, meaning your metabolism doesn't increase by a specific amount per pound of weight gained or lost. There was no correlation there and it was a little bit different for everybody. But back to the four stages thing, this is the part that's really, really key to this study and super important to address. So the four distinct life stages that they figured out with metabolism was first and foremost birth to one year old, right? So infancy. And up until age one, they figured out that calorie burning is at its peak. It's at the highest it's gonna be for any point in your life. And throughout that stage from birth to age one, it increases so much so that, so that it gets to a point where it's 50% higher than the average adult metabolic rate. So it gets really, really high from birth to age one. And then the second stage of this is age one to age 20. And from age one to age 20, it actually gradually decreases by about 3% per year, which I guess makes sense, right? If from birth to age one, it got up to over 50% of the average adult resting metabolic rate. Then from age one to 20, it slows down a little bit to kind of get back down to baseline, right? So it decreases by about 3% per year. Then stage three is the really interesting one, right? Stage three is from ages 20 to age 60. And what they found is during this time period, metabolism holds steady. They admit in this study that they were expecting metabolism to decrease at about age 40 or age 50, or some people were expecting to see a metabolic decrease every decade, but that didn't happen. Now, of course, there were some people who were outliers, uh, and outliers included people that had a metabolic rate that was 25% below where it was predicted to be or 25% above where it was predicted to be. But at baseline and in general, using the majority of the data, the trend was that between age 20 to 60, metabolism holds steady. I found that super fascinating. Then what they did is stage four, age 60 to 95, right? And in that point, they found that after age 60 is when your metabolism starts to decline by about 0.7% Per year. So there is a decrease from age 60 to 95. What's interesting about that though, and they note this in the study, is that right around age 60, right, is when your organs start to 
maybe not work as well, which is why most people with chronic illnesses or some issues that have to do with maybe heart or liver or whatever tend to get diagnosed later. And that's because your organ function isn't as good. The reason I'm pointing that out is because organ function can contribute to about 65% of what your resting metabolic rate is. So they were thinking in the discussion of this study that maybe the reason that metabolism is dropping by 0.7% per year from age 60 to 95 is because of that decrease in organ function as an individual gets older. Now, I wanted to bring up this study because, of course, we talk a lot about metabolism here. That's what we do. And I post a lot of different videos about case studies and just different information that we find out about metabolism because clearly, just based on this study, we're still learning more and more. But what I think is important to note is one of the things that we talk about here is that you should not be restricting your calories and that you do need to do some sort of movement for your body to hopefully help maintain a higher lean mass. Doing both of those things maintaining that higher lean mass by moving your body and fueling your body enough is likely going to help prevent you from becoming one of those outliers. We don't want you to be someone who comes up with a metabolic rate who's 25% lower than where it should be. And based on some of this research, it seems as though if we're keeping that healthy intake and movement, you should be able to maintain a metabolic rate pretty steady throughout a good majority of your adult life. So really excited to share this new interesting research with you. I'm sure there's gonna be more information about it that I'll of course touch on as it comes. Thanks for being here guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe.